Okay, not going to bore you with the details, the cutting and stuff, you can all do that. Just some old bed frames, angle irons, to make this cart with. So I cut off my four cross members, same length, and the two lengthways wise ones. Just got them roughly put together here now. I'm put together a couple of one inch clamps. There we go, welder. Set up there, just put them on some 2x6s to try to keep them somewhat straight. Just some basic squares, cut everything with the angle grinder. I'm just gonna see if we can get a bit of welding done here now and just weld them together, and that'll be the start. This is gonna be the bottom frame, which is gonna carry the hitch. See you in a bit. Okay, I got her welded up in place here. Let's take a quick look here at us. Now, the center supports here, I don't have welded yet. This is what I'm going for in terms of the wheels. But I got all four corners welded. I'm still learning how to weld. That's not bad. It'll do for bed iron. I'll weld it inside and out. Probably overkill. But, uh, you know. Might as well go for it. I was told that a 60-40 split is good for the wheels. 60% towards the front. And 40% uh, towards the rear. That gives you some tongue weight. So this being about six foot, it's just slightly under six foot, or actually slightly, just slightly over six foot actually. So I figure three foot center, three and a half foot, I figure somewhere around three and a half foot back from the front would give me roughly that 60% split for the trailer. So that's what I got marked center there. Now these are the other two cross members I've cut, out of bed rails of course. And the idea being this is where my axle is going. I'm going to use a three-quarter uh, solid rod. i got to pick, still pick up from the surplus stores. So what I'm going to work on now is uh, just how wide I want this wheel support back here. I'm probably going to put one more cross member back here between those. And maybe one, maybe two more across here. But this is not actually the bed of the trailer. This is going to be the... Uh, uh, this is actually going to be the support. The bed of the trailer is going to be made yet because I'm going to make a tipping trailer. So, or a dump trailer, whatever you want to call it. So, um, I'm going to take this piece of 316 steel. I'm going to even these up here along the center, keep my bearing in the center, and uh, pick those up from Princess Auto for about 10 bucks each. So, I think I'm going to use three across there. Two would be okay. Um, but I'm thinking three because as the wheels take weight, they'll want to flex the center of the bar here somewhere in the middle. So I'll take a piece of that steel there now, I'll divide that up three ways. That'll let me decide how wide to put that there. And uh, I'll probably put one across the center and one over here as well, weld them all in place. And that way then when my axle goes on, if it tries to flex the bar in the center, it'll have some support there from a third bearing. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do on work on next. And uh, I'll get going at that and show it to you when I'm done. Well, guys, this is it for this evening. Time to start putting this up. Got her all welded up there. Like I said this is the bed. Just, just look from the front to the back. So, not bad. Not bad. Well, I get better at my welds. Bit of rust paint on this, it'll look pretty good. Um, like I said before, this is supposed to be like this. So I had her upside down there before. Put my bearings on there in the middle, over there, and we'll get her up and running. There we go. All right, time for a quick update here now. I want to put my axles on, so I uh, went and bought my three-quarter inch rod up at the surplus store. Cost me uh, four bucks for that, and uh, I explained each of those flange bearings there. Uh, they were ten bucks each at Princess Auto, and these are tires are scrapped from a snow blower that I had no engine in, so. Uh, I'll use the wheels, and they fit the three-quarter inch axle as well. 
there's the pins belong to them. So basically what I'm going to do is, i got the three bearings on there. I'll put the tire on, mount it to the axle, and since there's already a set screws there, the tire won't go any further than that. I'll put on a three quarter inch washer, right there. And I've yet to find and mark my hole for to be able to put my pin in here. This keeps the tire from backing out. I don't want to set it into the axle, so I'll let the axle and the tire spin freely as they want to. Uh, that way then you can make turns and everything easier with your uh, trailer. And uh, just give you some idea, of course the back is there. That's towards the front. So that'll give me lots of height to go with my tractor. And I'm not worried about springs or anything. It just seem to be not going to be hauling huge loads, it's only a garden cart. So what I did was I lined up my axles to be just off the edge a bit, right in the middle of the thing. And then I took my felt tip permanent marker. And what I did was I traced around the edges here. And then I stick the tip in and I colored it in. That's what I did. And I did that with all three. And that was after... I took my measuring tape and since my frame was squared, I squared it up yesterday when I was welding it together. What I did was just from the two outside axles, I measured back and I set them at 29 and a half inches on both sides. And then I made my marks. And so, So once I had them back in place and marked, and I s put the felt tip down to the holes and s centered them up, then what I did was I got my drill out, and first I drilled a 1 8 inch pilot hole through each of them. You can see one right there, that's the last one I got left to drill now. And I drilled all the other ones out, and after that I just put the bolts on. So that's what I'm going at now, and I might attempt to put the tongue on too this evening if I can. Check back in a bit. If I had a tripod, I'd be able to show you more of it. But of course, that's the boring stuff. This is the, you just want to see how it's put together. All right. I know, I know, I know. I skipped a lot on the build here. Um, I already put the hitch on. Drop the little truck. Wheels are on. Hey, Chio. It's my helper. I'm trying to make it a dump trailer. Instead of dumping at the axles, I dump back here. So what I did was I... These are outdoor, steel outdoor hinges. And I just welded the hinges on straight. Once I laid the bed on her, I tried to put the bed on fairly straight. So I'll be putting the decking on next. Wells are not getting much better, but they're getting there. Um, basically what will happen now, I still have to put the post on here with the winch to be able to lift up the trailer. But the idea now is, I can lift the trailer up, she'll dump from the back like that, and then let it down. And with the tree hinges, she's fairly stable. That would be the idea, left separate. Came with fairly even with the tractor, little snow blower tires, a bit of painting and you know things like that to do. But I'll try to keep the videos up a little bit better as I do this. Anyway, so far so good. Okay, what am I at today? Well, I already put the lift mechanism on my trailer, and now I'm putting on. The supports for the sidewalls to finish up the cart. So let's see what I did. I just tacked on this one right here on the side I'm using my speed square. That's all I'm really doing. That's just to keep it flat on the bottom. There's the other ones that are left to put on. I got this one here put on. Hey, <laughs> I'm really proud of that. Well, that was a good one. I got the lift mechanism put on there. 
that's what I got put under. And what I'm using for a cable, and I just tack welded that underneath there for now. I'm going to finish up that weld. Goes over the top, and then down through my pulley, and then back up to the simple attachments I got made there. So I just put a bolt, looped it through. This is just clothesline cable, regular clothesline cable. That's what I used to put in there because this pulley didn't come with any cable. And I put it on a pulley here and I put this steel post here because here's what I found. I'm going to jack it up. Had some clearance problems here with my handle. Never thought about that. So I'm going to cut this part out here. Just cut that out. Smooth it on. It shouldn't hurt the overall structure. Now, that's why I put that under. I figure even with a full load, she shouldn't go up that high, but it saved me. I seen another one on the internet, and what he did was he put a T out here and put another pulley on out there. But what I found that would do, that would bring the cable down, and I was afraid it would run across and bend up the front. So by putting this on there, as she comes up, she's still able to bring the whole system up to a fair angle to allow her to tip. Now that's a pretty good angle there. I wouldn't say it's a full 45 but it's pretty close. So anything inside that trailer at this point should be dumped out. So that's why I made it that way. And by having a pivot here on those two I made there with a two piece of angle iron and a hole drilled true and by putting my pulley on here and allowing it to swivel. That allows my cart to tip up to the maximum that I need to be able to dump things out. And as I finish putting on these side pieces, the side supports, I say that one's only tacked, getting ready, put on the other two here, three more on that side. Uh, we'll be getting pretty close to where I'm going to paint and start putting the wood under. And by doing all my welds around here, they're dirty yet, I haven't cleaned them up, but she's pretty solid there, that's not going anywhere. Not for the little bits I'll be carrying in this. Anyway, another quick update. Sorry I can't show you the welding and grinding. It's hard to hold this and do all that at one time. But, anyway, good luck with your projects. Hopefully this gives you some ideas.